snacks in solitaire. My goodness, what have you all recommended? Anyway, I hope your day has been well and you're ready to relax. Play some solitaire. As you can see, we have some mini bell peppers with some dip with the chilies deck. And before you get worried, these are gaff cards, also known as magic cards, so we're not wasting any cards in the deck. So, besides that, my goodness, I'll explain that soon. But before we do that, please get yourselves nice and comfy, and let's get ready for our night ahead. Now, I'm not one to typically have mini bell peppers, the original chilies, within the depths of the Pico de Fuego, each one Trano lies a fortune favored by the Maya. I didn't see an accent. That was bad pronunciation. Anyway, I don't really have many bell peppers. I enjoy the larger ones, so I don't know how this is going to be for me. So you see that, and we have a side of, let's see if I can remember, fried pickled ranch, or fried pickle ranch. Something to that tune. It doesn't sound too bad. I like some crunch. I like some ranch. I don't think these should be spicy, no. But anyway, let's get into this. And if you enjoy these, please let me know. This one is especially for those of you asking out there, or specifically, I should say. I think I've gotten this one quite a few times, so let's get into it with a... Let's go yellow. Oh my. That seems like a lot of dip. Let's do this. A lot. 
sports a bit as a kid. And after playing some sports, typically, you would go to a pizza place. So this one tasted pretty much like a pizza restaurant's salad bar. Now isn't that kind of crazy when you think about it? It also tastes like nostalgia too, which is very odd. Is at the end of our first game. So let's build what we can and see if there's anything else that we can do as we're missing the four of spades. We'll flip over our last card and double check time. Six. There is somewhere for that six. Eight. And Jack. There is somewhere for that five, surprisingly, and double jacks. Did we just get incredibly lucky right now? There is somewhere for that six, nine, and king. And we have a seven, lastly. And unfortunately, we just miss a chance to go any further, as there is no other seven to move this one over. This close, everyone, for our first game. Let me finish this up while I clean up our first game. I 
fairly safe bet. Try this out. Get a tip. Something that with, has stuff that you enjoy. Like spinach artichoke. That sounded good. And try it out. Let me know what you think. I am enjoying this way more than I ever thought I would. Let's get a little bit of... There we go. Lots of seeds.
if we get lucky. As we have double aces, double nines, and double jacks. Orange, here we come. just thought of something that I'd like to know from you. So as a young child, I was considered a picky eater. I didn't like tomatoes, pickles, salads all too much. But that changed around fourth grade. I opened up my tasting quite a bit. And I remember when a friend would come over, he was a very and is still a very picky eater. No pickles, no mustard. Maybe he'll allow lettuce now. No tomato, no onions. And so on a hamburger, it would just be meat, cheese, maybe ketchup. And I reflected on myself for that, thinking how can you go as long as you've lived without changing your palate that much? And I thought to myself, because up until fairly recently, I despised the idea of eating a raw tomato. I have tried many times throughout the years to have one. 
but it has never ended well. My most recent time before, like, this past month or so, was in Albuquerque about three years ago, maybe four, and it was a cherry tomato, and this thing was huge. It was probably about the size of a golf ball, and it just burst, and that was very tough for me. It was just dreadful, absolutely dreadful, and then I was like, nope, no way, I still don't like tomatoes, I'm not trying again for another five years. So, go back within this past month, I'm at in and out and I'm thinking, you know what, I forget it, I'll just have my hamburger with the tomatoes, I know, I'm living wild here. So I tried it. It was a bit of a texture thing, but I was like, you know what, I like extra onions. What's the big idea with just one tomato and two layers of onions? All extra vegetables except extra tomato. So I had that, and it wasn't too bad. I got past it, I tasted it a bit, but I just moved on from the negative connotation in my mind with it. There are other instances of eating tomatoes I've had in the past that create that kind of mental schema, but I'll just avoid that for the moment so I can get back to a bell pepper soon. Anyway, I had the tomato and then after time I've had like double tomato on a burger, so now I feel like I could probably have a raw tomato on its own with no issue. Triple fours and our first fat stack. And I think that's kind of neat. Something I usually rid off. And the thing is, I could eat just pasta sauce or seasoned tomato that's a little boiled or cooked, but never raw on its own. And I've been doing it more and more throughout the past couple of years, and I've moved past it. So this ultimately leads to the question, is there a food out there that you're just nope about? I had a couple I've been working on, but I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it and what those foods may be. As we unfortunately look to have ended our second game, so I'm gonna do this while chewing on a bell pepper. Because it's been some time. Oh my, that is a lot.
17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sometimes I think I forget how hard I chew on my own time. I have a lot of gum, like big pieces of gum, and that's not exaggerating. Um, and it's gotten my jaw stronger than it's been. And I notice when I'm eating dinner sometimes, I'm eating it somewhat robotically as just a means to put it down my throat. It sounds kind of bad, but I do my best not to do that during these. Okay, let's go for another orange. next one, kind of at my own tempo. Not trying to go fast, but just chewing normal. After we go through, I think we have one more play at least. Or we just missed it. Give me a sec while I go through our double check. Let's get a little more dip in there. But specifically, it's very difficult with gum. Because I just chew away at that stuff on my own. Alright. Are we at our end now? And this will be our thorough check. Because there's nowhere for that check. Somewhere for that ease. Somewhere for that six, and at the end, we managed to earn one more fat stack. And who knows, maybe it can become two. As there is a three, and we cannot afford to waste any plays. As now there is a six with a king, a queen. Jack, five, and two. So this is our best chance possible. As we... I didn't put it down yet. Yes, I did. Three, four. And I think we just came up a little bit short. Yep. So, my friend, that is...
that's it for tonight. Just managed to miss a win here. These two large stacks ended up costing us in the end. We had some fat stacks, but not else, much else besides that. Let's see which cards are left unturned for our final game of the night. Guess we have double twos, tens. And that is it. So I'm going to have one more bell pepper before we're done. But first, let's put away the cards in their little box. And for you, I hope you have yourself a relaxing remainder of your night. Many sweet dreams. It was fun trying something a little new for me. And I hope you enjoy. Until we meet again, please stay safe and eat your fruits and vegetables.